mid to 1970 here again. I'm going to talk to you about my Harrison 12 by 24 inch lathe. But first of all, happy 2020 to everybody out there and all my subscribers. So, when I got this lathe over the Christmas period, there's a slight issue with it. The clutch, the main lever that goes here, wasn't working. Basically, whether it was off or on, there was power all the way through. Now, um, I stripped the clutch down and the pulley is really stiff. If you turn the pulley, basically, it turns the whole input shaft, regardless of whether the clutch is there or not, as I'll show you now. So this is the input shaft. Okay. Now, I've just been playing with it, actually, before I made this video, and I've freed it up a little bit. That was stuck solid. Now, whether it had burnt or something, I don't know. But it's taken me, because I don't know how to strip this down, and I can't find anything online, and nobody seems to be doing any work on one of these, I couldn't understand how to get it apart, and I didn't want to destroy it. So, in order to separate these clutch plates here, from this main pulley what you do is, is you get some thin wire and you poke it in all the way around the gap and you twist it together at both ends get a screwdriver through it and pull it off and I'll show you how to do that now so focus we twist some wire It's a bit of old armed cable, about half a millimetre or so in diameter, and about 600 mil long. Twist the loop in one end, take the wire, Get a pair of pliers. Twist those ends together. And you can pull it off. Now, I had to do that because this was all stuck together. Yours might just come apart nice and easy. But because there was no instruction book for me, to tell me how to take these off and obviously I didn't want to wreck it or break it that almost like friction welded itself together the idea being that this should spin freely when the clutch is off so now I can give this a, a wipe round and a clean up and put it all back together again and then hopefully my clutch will work Disengage and re-engage the clutch, so the clutch is now working. Brilliant. 